Hey guys, it's Alex here, and we are back. Now, the full game of Football Manager 22 is open, and we are in the FM22 editor, because I want to look at youth ratings, uh, and how important, and who's got what, basically, um, for certain clubs. Uh, here, we have all 53 playable nations in FM. I'll do one, I think, for all of the nations, but these are all the playable nations you can have in FM from from Argentina to Wales. And here we have the uh, the continent, the region, the reputation, the youth rating, one of the most important things, the game importance, which also will help, the state of development, the FA financial power, and the economic factor, which I think, I think from what I know in previous FMs, do affect it. I know game importance is very imp uh, important in affecting how many good regens will come through and the FI financial power and the economic factor will also uh, come into this. So let's have a look at the best and the worst youth ratings. So at the top, of course, it's Brazil. Brazil have a youth rating of 163. So the Brazil, as, as the meme goes, you're going to find your best wonder kids in Brazil. The game importance, very important. The FI financial power, 16. Economic factor, 16. There will be a lot of good regens coming out of Brazil. Uh, the similar things can be said for France, Germany, Spain, Italy, Argentina, then there's England down at 135. So you won't be having as many, but you will be having quite a lot. You've got Portugal, then the Netherlands, uh, and those are your sort of, everyone knows the big sort of nations. It's interesting because Belgium are quite low. Belgium are lower than Turkey and Mexico. Uh, then you've got Russia, Colombia, Ukraine, South Korea are quite high. It's not very important, um, but it's an important. But South Korea, I think, especially with a lot of the sims I've done, South Korea could be a really good place to look for regens. Uh, so the, the United States, although the game importance is unimportant to them. So that might reduce the factor. Obviously, we've got our uh, favorite Eastern Europeans, Serbia with 100. Uh, the last team with a three-digit youth rating. Croatia down there also are Euro Eastern Europeans that are cheap as well. You've got Peru. That's a pretty decent one. South Africa. I've seen them do really well. They've got very important there. I think uh, the game importance is quite important there as well. Um, Greece. Then you've got the Czech Republic, Poland, Chile. Poland, <laughs> meanwhile, have zero FA financial power along with uh, Holland. Um, then you've got Chile. But for some reason, I don't know if this is a glitch or not, but apparently the game importance is completely useless. I think that's a very odd choice, seeing as how the Chile fans sort of uh, treat football, especially with Ben Brereton. So I'm not sure if that's right or not, if that's a glitch. Um... Romania have 91, so do Denmark. Then you've got uh, Australia, Switzerland, Uruguay, quite low. Uh, then there's Sweden. India have 86, but it is unimportant. So India have quite a high, they've got a higher youth index uh, or youth rating than Scotland and the Republic of Ireland, uh, which is quite interesting. Then there's Norway. Uh, surprised they're that low with Harlan coming through. Uh, Northern Ireland, Slovakia, Austria, Slovenia, Finland, Bulgaria, um, it's interesting um, that they're that low, seeing as a few of my previous videos, but who knows. Wales at 71, then we get starting to go really low. Hungary at 68, and Iceland. Latvia are 63. Belarus are 62. China at 60. Indonesia at 56. Canada at 54, and it's un unimportant. Hong Kong and Singapore have 47 and 35. And Singapore, the game importance is completely useless. And then right at the bottom, uh, along with Singapore, is Malaysia, but it is only unimportant. So if you want the hardest challenge, if you want to do a youth only challenge, but with a dynamic youth to get them all the way up, I think Singapore and Malaysia are probably the toughest ones. Uh, if you want to stay in Europe, the lowest is Belarus and Latvia. Those are pretty e decent ones to do. Um, if you want to be in North America, Canada, that's a tough one. South America, I think it's quite hard to get one in South America because they're all pretty big, but I guess Uruguay at the moment is the best there. Um, but uh, And then obviously Africa only South Africa. But that's quite interesting seeing how, how low the youth rating to go and how long it might take to get maybe a Malaysia or a Singapore all the way up. And we're going to have to be interesting to see if we sim 100 years into the future, 
is everyone's youth rating at 200? Do they change? Do they not change? But that's it. This is uh, this is pretty much it for today. We'll have a look at maybe all nations and see what happens there. Maybe we'll look at some other things. But yeah, I thought I'd just show you all of the youth ratings for every playable nation in Football Manager 22. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It's been Alex, and I'll see you guys next time.